everyone. Um, I hope I don't sound too sick. Uh, I am still a little bit snuff sniffly and gross, so if I cough or sneeze, that's why. I hope y'all are really excited for this video because this, for me, is one of my absolute very favorite videos that I make and to watch and just in general. So let's just get into it. I have really excitingly hit exciting. I'm not sure that's a word. Whatever. We're gonna go with it. Hit pan on a new product this month, and that is the um, I was gonna say L'Oreal. Maybelline color tattoo in the shade bold gold as y'all can hopefully see right down there on the bottom You can definitely see it if you look in the floor. I say you can Hopefully you can definitely see if you look on the front I have hit pan on this which is really exciting because it's one of those things people are like oh you're never gonna use it up And so let's go ahead and give you a little swatch. It's just a beautiful Gold it's a kind of a deeper almost an antique gold. There's no green in it though um, And I love this shade I use it for the base of so many things. For these, I don't have to use a shadow over it. I can just chunk it on my eyeball and go. And I really, really like it. I'm not using this today um, because I'm using uh, Inked and Pink, actually, of the same brand. But I really, really love those. For a dupe for that, I don't actually have one. But this is the closest thing I have in my collection. Um, and it's not really the same. And I would probably, if, I, if and when I use that up, I would probably just repurchase that. But this is one of the Revlon Color Stay Smoky Shadow Sticks. Um, I have two of these, and if you use them how you're supposed to, which is use this all over your lid, use this in your crease and go, it's going to be a hot mess and disgusting. Now, if you use one of these as a base and then put shadow over it, it's beautiful and it works really well. And that's what I use them for. Um, as you can see, they just have these twist up, little stick format. This is in the shade Atomic 205. And on the gold side... It's more of like a bronze, not bronze, it's still a gold, but it's like an orangey, almost a rosy gold color. As you can see, they're definitely not the same. And this, I wouldn't say is um, near as good as this uh, Maybelline one, but that's what I have. In case you don't know, whenever I first hit print on something, I give you a dupe from my other my collection. Um, but these other three I've already hit print on, so if you want to see dupes or anything like that, go ahead and look at my older videos. This is the NYC Sunny Bronzer. It is the bronzer. I put it on my forehead and on my cheekbones and everything today. I have used this a lot and I've kind of, I hated it and now I started liking it again. I hope y'all can see that and that I have made some progress. Unfortunately, it just, it's going by slow, which I guess is a good thing um, because, you know, that means you're getting your money's worth even though I think this is only like $3. But there you go. I don't know why it's only, um, making progress on this side because what I do I've been I just started this lately and I really like it with this specific product is I take my eco tools powder brush and just kind of do it all around and then I just do this you know in your little E3 I definitely you know put a little bit extra in my contour and there you go I really like the way that looks I can definitely tell a difference um, and so I am enjoying this a little bit more, partly also because I've um, lost some of my color. Because even though it is 75 degrees outside in December, um, I'm not near as tan as I was in the summer. Alright, then we have our two eyeshadows. Um, these are both Beauty Rush from Victoria's Secret. They no longer make these, but from watching different people's um, makeup collections and stuff, I have seen that a lot of people have it. I didn't do a swatch of this. Unfortunately, mine doesn't swatch very well, and I think that's just because it's gotten old, and it's it's harder than um, other people's, but there it is. So yeah, I, I have seen other people with these, and if you have them, I recommend pulling them out. This one's in the shade Bronze, bronze Zinger. I think I've uh, probably maybe tapped a couple of more, I'm not sure. This is what I have deepening up. It's not in my crease, it's just kind of on my outer corner probably like outer fourth of my lid look at that pigmentation and you can also use these wet and they're absolutely beautiful wet I have a purple one I use wet a lot so there you go beautiful and this one's what's in my inner corner I love having a super bright inner corner like this I just think it really opens up my eyes because I do have smaller eyes um, and this is in the shade flower girl it's broken um, it is getting harder and harder to use this because as you can see, I'm making major, major progress. But that's exciting for me. 
it's a really beautiful white pinky highlight shade all right so those are the products that i have not used up but i'm hopefully making my way there which is really really exciting because um you know i think i'm gonna do a whole video about that i don't know i have an idea i hope you'll like it anyway so now let's get into the products that i actually did finish up this um, is definitely going to be a shorter, smaller empties video than my past ones, just because I haven't been using up that many products lately for whatever reason. You definitely get like an ebb and a flow of these kind of videos because obviously you're not going to be using up like 80 products every month. Like nobody uses up products that quickly. Well, I don't know. I don't use up products that quickly. So let's just get into it. We're going to start off with some random. This is by Up and Up, which is Target's home brand. It is the Padded Cotton Squares. I really like these. Um, from all the ones at Target, this is definitely the nicest. Um, I've never tried the Shiseido or the Cotton Clouds, so I don't want to compare it to that, but I really, really enjoy that one. And now I have three things for hair. First off, I hated this. I absolutely did not like it at all and would not recommend it. It's by Galvin and Galvin Kids, and it is the Organic Double Trouble Detangling Conditioner Spray. This is in the scent Cu Cool Cucumber. And it smelled terrible. Like, it smelled really synthetic and fake cucumbers, but it's organic. So that doesn't make any sense. I love the smell of, like, fresh-cut cucumbers. And this did not smell like that at all. Um, I also didn't think it really worked that well. I had to use a lot of product to get it to detangle my hair. Obviously, I do have quite a bit of hair. But um, I didn't like it. And it's pretty expensive for only um, 5.1 ounces, uh, 150 mils. Like, that's not that much. It was, like, $6, maybe even 8 It was pretty expensive. The other thing, I got two samples now, um, and this is the Beauty Protector Protection Treat Treatment Mask. You can only get this brand on Birchbox's site, and they have the most delicious smell to their products. It's like a very super sugary, sweet, cotton candy smell. I really love it. it um, you're not going to be able to see it, but it is pink. Maybe you can see it on the lid. No. It's a really light pink color, and um, I think it works pretty well. It is really expensive, and I don't think it works so well that I would pay the money for it, but um, I would be happy to get another sample. But it, it's just, I have a lot of hair and it is damaged from being chemically treated. So it might have pretty dry hair, which is also something for this one. This is the Dove Oxygen Moisture for Fine Flat Hair. Um, this is the conditioner. I'm still using this sh shampoo. I have two samples of these. One of them I think I'm going to give away to y'all um, in an upcoming giveaway that I, I'm excited about. I hope y'all are too. Um, these smell really great, and the shampoo is awesome. I really feel like it cleans my hair. The conditioner is nice. However, it's not quite as moisturizing as I would like. I always use um, an oil in my hair when I take a shower anyway, um, but I definitely wouldn't say that it like really get, like, made my hair feel quenched and stuff, and I still usually need to use a detangler with this, um, which is usually what is the case. So I would say this is nice. If you don't have super dry hair or tangly hair, you might really love it. And I've heard a lot of people on YouTube talking about it and just raving about it. So I like it, but it's nothing, not something that I would necessarily go repurchase. But I am going to let y'all try it and hopefully y'all would like it. Alright, now let's get into some skincare. This, it feels like there's stuff in here, but there's really not. This is Dove Deep Moisture Nutrient Moisture Nourishing Body Wash. This is just the original. It smells like soap. It smells really good. Um... It's a very, like, gender-neutral scent. My best friend takes his bike to come see me because he doesn't have a car. And so usually when he gets here, I'm like, okay, hi, so glad to see you. Why don't you go take a shower upstairs? Um, so he uses this a lot, and he likes it. And I really like it. I think it smells good. Um, I have tried different scents, and they don't stay on your skin. Why did I go orange? <coughs> Excuse me. They don't stay on your skin near as well as this original does. So, this is probably my favorite, if I had to guess. And um, I really like it, and it's really moisturizing, especially if you're shaving. Alright. Now, let's get into the rest of these. I used up one of these, and they don't do anything for me. Proactive Plus Mark Fading Pads. Um, maybe if you had a bunch of them, it would help. I don't have super acne-prone skin, but I was getting a couple breakouts. I used this. I didn't see a difference. Um, I don't know. It's nothing special. Um, they didn't sell me to want to purchase it by any means. I, I used up this Estee Lauder Enlighten, Enlighten Dark Spark, <coughs> excuse me, Dark Spot Correcting Night Serum. 
this is a travel size. It wasn't super full. I did use it all up. It was fine. Um, I didn't notice it correcting any dark spots. I don't really have any like acne scars or anything for it to correct. But it was nice and I liked it. And um, But I wouldn't pay the however much this is. I know it's expensive as Estee Lauder. I wouldn't pay for it, but it was decent. Next, I used up this. It is by Balance Me. I did cut it open and dug out every last bit of it. I got like two more weeks worth of use after cutting it open. This is the real color. You know how like I always talk about how everything gets so messed up? This is probably pretty decent coloration in case you ever wonder. Um, it's Balance Me Wonder Eye Cream. It smelled kind of orangey but also really herbally. I liked it. Um, it was pretty hydrating. It is a more natural brand, however, as I say with a lot of natural brands, definitely look at the ingredients. Because um, this does have a lot of chemicals and stuff. That, and all chemicals are the same. I probably will make a whole video about that at one point, just so y'all can like. Um, and I liked it. I got it on Birchbox. It lasted me a really long time. I probably wouldn't purchase it, just because it's so expensive and I didn't do anything to wow me. But it was nice. These I've already purchased. And I love them. It is the Up and Up Cleansing Towelettes Makeup Remover compared to Pond's Clean Sweep. I was using the Neutrogena ones for forever and a day. I thought they were my holy grail. I really liked them. No. These are bigger and they're softer and they remove makeup just as well and I believe they are $2 cheaper for five more wipes. All things that are great. I highly, highly recommend you try this out. And if you're like, oh no, Neutrogena all the way. I was like that. And these totally, what is that hair doing being wonky back there? Um, these totally changed my mind. I love these. I don't see myself purchasing anything else anytime soon, to be totally honest with you. And then I have two kind of sort of make, well, one's definitely makeup. The other one's kind of a makeup item. And it's gone, but it's also kind of broken. It doesn't twist or do anything anymore, but I am hitting, like I hit the plastic edge. You know what I'm talking about, but it's a chapstick. It's the Blistec Medicated Mint. I love mint chapsticks. That's my kind of. That's pretty much all I use. Um, and I really, really like this. I would. Um, I really felt a difference, and I might even say that this is my favorite chapstick. But I have so many. Um, but I would definitely repurchase this because I think it's really great. And I've had this for a ridiculously long time. And I know you're supposed to throw away mascara after six months, but I didn't, and I don't. I'm a terrible person. I know that's terrible. I'm the worst, like, beauty YouTuber in the whole wide world. And this is the Dior Show Mascara. It's not the Overcurl or the Iconic. It's the original. It finally opens up again. It wouldn't open. It's dried out. It's got this natural bristle br uh, wand. And I didn't really like it. Um, it made my lashes look really thin. Long, but really thin. Um, so maybe if you have really voluminous lashes, you'd like it. I don't know. I didn't really like it. It was over $30, so I would not repurchase it. I got it freshman year of, high school, of college, and I'm um, a senior, so yeah. But there you go. This is what I had. It was decent. Nothing great. And that's my empties video. Like I said, it's a short one, even though I still managed to talk your ear off for about 15 minutes. I hope that's all right with you. Um, let me know if you have any questions or suggestions or anything. Thank you so, so much for watching. It means the absolute world to me. Um, anything that is related to this video, any like other videos, blog posts, playlists, everything that's on my face, all of that will be linked down below so you can check that out. And I'll see you all real soon. Bye.